what's up guys my name is sam from rap production tips and tools and today i'm gonna show you how you can actually live stream a pre-recorded service uh, let's say you had a service in the morning and everything was live streaming and you recorded it and you want to re-live stream it in the afternoon so basically this is something that you can do if you don't want to just repost the video on youtube and you just you want to kind of give a live streaming experience to the viewers then this method is gonna be useful for you another way of doing this let's say uh, you have let's say five cameras or three cameras and you want to do a multi shoot have time to edit color correct do some color correction and color grading you know and have your video well done and edited and kind of live stream the whole thing without having to just like post it on youtube you want to give this live streaming experience to your viewers then this video is gonna be for you i'm gonna show you how you can actually do that uh, using obs and without taking much time let's get right into it so basically i'm here in obs okay i already have some scenes uh, created if you don't know uh, much about OBS, if this is your first time, I encourage you to check out my other videos about OBS, how to download it, how to get started, just, just to, you know, get you familiar with OBS. But if you already know how to use OBS, then um, follow me and let's go. Um, I'm assuming your video is already done. Okay, so you have done your video is edited. You have your file and what you need to do is to take that file, well done, edited, and live stream it on YouTube. So you gotta make sure you have a good internet connection just to avoid, you know, dropping uh, or having some issues and make sure you don't live stream on Wi-Fi. That's uh, a big mistake a lot of people do. So don't try to live stream over Wi-Fi because it's not stable, it keeps dropping and you're taking a risk, okay? So try to connect your computer um, using an ethernet cable, okay? Let's go back to OBS and what we're gonna need to do, so basically you have this screen, uh, which is something, a welcome screen that you may have. You don't really need to have this, but let's say you have it, it's fine, okay? Then I have another um, scene, which is my show scene. I called it scene, you can call it whatever you want. And this is the scene that we're gonna use most of the time. And I'm going to add a source, uh, which is gonna be uh, a media source, okay? So it's gonna be a media source. And then we're gonna call it um, service live stream boom okay so and make sure uh, you don't check loop because you don't want it to loop okay so make sure you you have this restart playback when source becomes active and show nothing when playback ends i leave it checked and then go to browse okay and i'm gonna go look for one of our church videos so I'm gonna pick, uh, open one of our church videos and click OK. And as you can see, uh, the video is already uh, loaded in here, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to our pre-show, okay? And this is our pre-show and we're gonna go to settings, okay? And we're gonna go to stream, okay? I assume uh, you know how to live stream on YouTube, but it's okay. We're gonna go uh, through it, okay? So basically, uh, we're gonna go here to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna go to create and go live. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go to stream here on the top, okay? And I'm gonna click, um, I'm going to, this is where you create your live stream titles and everything. So basically, we're gonna go here to edit okay and you're gonna name your live stream so you give it a name so let's say um church for now we call it church live stream re broadcast okay so yeah so this is our title then go to description 
just put anything you want so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is honestly uh you're gonna put anything you want depending on on your live stream and uh on visibility uh, for me, I put it unlisted, but for you, it's going to be public, of course, because it's going to go public. You, you want people to watch it. So for you, you would choose uh, public. OK, you know, you're going to go fill out all the steps, you know, category, education or religious or whatever you're streaming. OK, and make sure you upload your thumbnail. OK, so basically you're going to go to your thumbnails. Depending on the kind of thumbnail you have, let's say this is my thumbnail. So make sure your video, your live streaming uh, is kind of, you know, optimized for YouTube. OK, so once you're done, you click save. Then as you can see, everything that we entered is here. OK, then uh, the last thing that you need from YouTube is basically you're going to go here to uh, stream key okay so you're going to copy your stream key here okay under uh, stream key so you're going to copy it go to obs go back to obs and you're gonna choose to here on stream you're gonna go to uh youtube so you have a lot of choices here but if you if you were live streaming on facebook live it would be the same thing so basically make sure you check out my obs video about how to live stream on facebook but if you live uh, for this video we're live streaming on youtube so we're gonna choose youtube and server we're gonna choose primary and uh, this is where we're going to paste the key that we just uh, copied from youtube studio so gonna uh, right click and paste okay then apply and then okay right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go here to obs and hit start streaming okay so as you can see if we go back to youtube uh we are live okay now we're waiting for OBS to send the signal. And as you can see, we have the signal. Okay. If I were to go to YouTube right now, this is my link. Okay. I can copy it. And if I go to YouTube and uh, paste the link, you see, as you can see, I'm live. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to OBS. Okay and i'm gonna go choose the show scene which is this one okay and i'm gonna take it so as you can see my video is loaded here okay and i'm gonna take it send it to program by cutting or fading so let's use fade okay so as i fade you can see that the video starts playing okay so of course i just picked up uh, one of our church um, videos and there is a little announcement at the beginning but if you wait for it a little bit you can see it starts playing and everything is good you know the audio is on so yeah so as you can see uh, i go to youtube now it's playing okay it's, uh, it's live okay i can choose the full quality and uh full hd no problem and you know this is just a video that uh, was recorded uh, a few months ago okay you have all the um information about how the stream is doing the stream health you know everything so guys uh this is how you do it once you're done all you need to do you can either end your stream here or go to obs and uh, click stop streaming okay and what's gonna do is gonna stop your live uh, streaming on youtube okay so guys that's how you do it very simple uh very straightforward and again once you're done you can always have these few scenes like thanks for watching at the end if you have some other announcements that you did not include in your video you can have them within obs to kind of switch in between uh, but other than that, this is the way to go. I'm going to put a playlist at the end about OBS and live streaming. If you're new to OBS or live streaming, if you need more tips like this one, 
or other stuff about live streaming and recordings make sure you check out my channel don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found value other than that i appreciate you hanging out with me and i'll see you on my next video take care